Hi everybody, my name is Pete Leong and I'm an underwater photographer based in beautiful Okinawa. Uh, CNC have asked me to come out here to the awesome Kume Island today to check out their new strobe, the YS-03 for underwater, beautiful, easy light lighting photography. Uh, now the main concept for this strobe is that it's super easy to use, automatic TTL lighting in a compact size. Great for travel, taking with you anywhere, and easy to use for the beginner, great right through to the professional. So let's have a look at some features. Okay, so first I'd like to cover just a few points about this strobe that make it really awesome. First of all, it's got a 20 guide number, which means it can punch out a lot more power than your built-in flash can or any LED light or anything like that. So it packs a nice punch underwater. Secondly, it covers a wide degree of field, up to 100 degrees by 100 degrees. So that means if you're using wide-angle lenses, you can get a nice smooth light across the entire field with no hot spots in the middle like you do with some underwater lights. It's totally smooth and wide, which makes it great. Thirdly, this is a slave TTL, meaning it runs a cable down here to your camera's built-in flash and it's able to transmit that signal and convert it into a, a TTL flash signal in the main strobe, which makes it uh, totally easy to use, automatic, and you don't need a manual mode. Just straight into TTL and you're good to go. As long as you have a camera from makers, for example, like Olympus, Canon, Nikon, Panasonic, Fujifilm, Ricoh or Casio, They'll fit all the models, as long as you have a built-in flash. So the YS-03 is designed to be as simple as possible to make your underwater photographing experience as fun as it can be. You don't have to concern yourself with uh, manual exposure and thinking about things like that. All you need to do is turn it from the off position to the TTL mode, aim it, and you're ready to go. You can just concentrate on getting good shots and uh, nice angles and just direct the light however you'd like to get it, the TTL will take care of the rest. So the YS-03 runs on four AA rechargeable batteries. You can just pop them in the back here. Once you turn the unit on, the lamp will light up red, indicating that the strobe is ready to fire. Once you've taken a shot, it will light up green to indicate that the TTL has got a correct exposure, and then it will go straight back to red to indicate that you're ready to fire again. All this happens in just a split second. So all you need to connect the YS-03 with your camera is this uh, fiber optic cable here. You wanna make sure you get the cable from CNC, which ensures you'll get correct exposures every time. If you get an aftermarket one, there's the chance that it may not fire correctly. So always be sure to get a proper CNC cable. Or you can buy the total beginner kit, which I have here, which includes the strobe, the cable, a flexible arm, and the camera tray right here. And then you're set to go. All you need to do is connect it to uh, your camera, which it's designed to fit almost every camera make. And that's it, you're ready to go. So right now I'm gonna go for a dive. Why don't you come along and we'll test it out. See you soon. So the main problem with underwater photography, as you may know, is that when you go deeper in the water, you tend to lose all the color. The sun's light can't penetrate through the water far enough to bring out all those beautiful colors. That's where a strobe comes in. When I use this underwater, it brings back all the beautiful reds and oranges of the fish and the coral so that they show up nicely in your picture. So now I'm going to take a look at a couple of pictures and uh, you'll be able to see the difference. In this shot, you can see I haven't used a flash. You can see it's all blue and uh, not very interesting, quite boring flat light. In this shot, I've used the built-in camera flash which illuminates it slightly but doesn't have much power and produces a flat, dull light. In this shot, I've used the YS-03 flash to create lighting from the side, which creates beautiful color and shadows. So this strobe runs off four AA nickel cadmium batteries. Even at full power, you can recycle in about 2.5 seconds, meaning it's great for action shots where you need to keep shooting, especially subjects like small clownfish, which tend to dart around quickly. This has the power to recycle fast and the short duration so you can freeze that action for a perfect shot. So the YS-03 is also great at doing wide shots when you want to get lots of fish in the shot. It emulates the color of the sun, so the color looks really natural and all smooth and well lit. For really wide shots though, 
CNC recommend that you try using dual strobes to light even more of the scene. When you have an extra strobe, you can also experiment with different arm lengths. Uh, CNC has a whole wide range of different arms to suit your needs and creative possibilities, right from very long ones way down to shorter ones like this. So if you can, I also recommend experimenting with dual strobes. A single strobe is great. You get nice soft light, but sometimes you may want to fill in the shadows of the other side of your subject. That's when a dual flash comes in. You can experiment with different configurations and lengths to really open up a lot of creative possibilities underwater for your flash photography. So to wrap things up, I'd just like to offer a couple of points and tips for shooting underwater. Oftentimes when you use flash directly at the subject, you'll find a lot of backscatter in your images. That's the white dots that show up when you use flash. What you can do to alleviate that is spread your flashes out further on arms and angle them inwards, and that will help alleviate the problem. Another problem some people find is when they're shooting in close, sometimes the subject is overexposed because the flash is so close. What you can do with the arms is then try and move them back slightly behind the camera and um, then you'll find you'll get a better exposure overall. So the most important thing about taking photos underwater is have fun, open up your creative potential and this will allow you to do such a thing. Taking beautiful colourful pictures underwater and lots of different lighting variations. So get out and play with one today. I'm Pete and thanks for watching.